Selena, now that you've had a taste of the wings, what rating do you give it? Oh, I give it like a 10. Uh, really? Yeah, we well, definitely want to have more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you guys, it comes with this really, really amazing sauce. It's a combination of a buffalo sauce and barbecue all in one. We had it with the sauce when we were there, but we have to go back and taste it with the sauce on it. And it comes with hookers. And it comes with <laughs> So tonight was interesting. Let's just go into it. I had, I think I had some hooker that just wanted to beat me up. We're currently in Sasua, Dominican Republic, and we went out for the night and we actually found the most amazing wing place. Nathan, what'd you think? It was really good food. It was amazing. Yeah. So we went out and <clears throat> we strolled. I was scared because it was dark. I've never been there during the dark, during the nighttime. So one of the travel tips, the first one is, yeah, go out at night. Don't go out at night. <laughs> I think unless, unless you're looking for a very interesting experience, Conclude your business before dark. Yeah. So that's tip number one. That, yeah, that tip has moved up to number one. That's tip number one. It's moved up to number one. Yeah, because I had this girl, like, literally we went to this, um, basically like a sports bar right in the middle of town. And we, they had AC there. So we're like, cool. We sat down. Everybody was super nice. But they do have ladies of the night working there which is pretty normal in Sasua. Like there's 20 million guys that have videos of, hey, like if you come to Sasua, like you can like buy some, a piece of ass and then they have like they're asses all over. They holler for a dollar. Literally. Well, it's not even that. I don't know what the price is, but I'm just saying that, you know, prostitution is legal here in this area. So, and I'm totally fine with that. Like, you know, make your money ladies. So, we were waiting to get our food because we wanted to get some food to go. And um, this chick at the bar, I was, I did like a little filming of the fact that they were showing like sports on that really big TV. Like and I was American like, this is, a, yeah. And it was on a really big screen TV. So I was like, this is really awesome. Like this place is so great. You can come here, you can drink, you can have great wings and you can watch your sports, American sports, on this big ass TV. And when you're done, you can hire this beautiful woman to come home with you, right? So I did like a little video of the screen and um, she proceeds to like, she's at the bar, I'm at a table. She turns around, she says to me in Spanish, she's like, are you filming for YouTube? I think that's what she said, right? No, she said, did you film me? I said, yeah, so she said, did you film me? I said, no, I was filming. I was taking a picture of my boy. I was taking a picture of him pointing to Nathan. And so she's like, I was like almost 180 degrees from her. Yeah. I didn't get her by the way. Like I'm not going to get her in the, I'm just not, that's not what I'm looking for. Because like I said, there are so many videos about all the prostitution going on in this city from men she's sitting here clapping at me like oh did you get me blah 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 and so and then she proceeded to ask my name and i told her a fake name um and i was very like diplomatic because i didn't want any problems because i was insulted I, honestly i was insulted yeah. she was trying to pick a fight with you and she kept saying oh you better not film me I better not see my see me on your YouTube channel or whatever. Yeah, and then I yeah. said, do you want, I will be happy to show you what I was doing with my camera. Do you want me to show you? And she said, no. So I said, okay. So anyway. <clears throat> I just think at the end of the day, she was just looking for something to do and not something happy to be picked up in a fight with you. Yeah, well, that is tip number two be nice if anyone does anything because like i think if i would have started a fight with her then it would have been a big mess and yep. probably more pe people would have joined in including me including you know nathan and so it was good that i didn't do anything um personally uh You're classy. And, yeah and i'm not really interested in fighting anybody like what's the point so i'm probably gonna have bad dreams about it 
tonight. And wow. and I, I love how Nathan and Selena were like making fun of me about it. But I'm probably gonna have bad dreams tonight. Well, I would just say as a parting thought that you cannot be disrespected by someone who does not respect themselves. Right, but because I have nothing against prostitution either. I don't either. She, has to make she, the money obviously, she obviously was very sensitive about where she was and what she was doing. And you can't be responsible for how she feels about that. Um, I agree, but then at the same time, I am pissed off because you have all these men with their YouTube channels coming in and filming all these prostitutes and actually yeah, but they do it on the low they got like the no, camera like, there's they, they got the camera like all the way down what about that guy i don't know that does a live but those girls aren't friends it, i get you want to be sensitive to filming people but if you tell someone i'm not filming you and to mind their own business then if they come back at you then that's their problem got it she better be lying in like Say it didn't start anything. Cause you would have cut her. I would have cut her and I would have kicked her ass. So don't come at me, cause I'm gonna get you. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna get you. I'm tall. She gonna get you. <laughs> she gonna get you. <laughs>